Hi guys, it is a oh, fairly pleasant first day of October 2013. So October 1st, I got so much to rant about here guys, but I guess uh, I should be ranting since it's October 1st on the two big subjects apparently on everybody's mind in the country and those two subjects would be what are the two subjects on everybody's mind in this country on October 1st 2013 okay let me think here all right I've been hanging out uh, the past week good god uh, how many parties have I been to how many dozens if not hundreds of my fellow Americans have I had social intercourse with, hmm, representing a wide spectrum of my fellow Americans, including what, the five or six people that I live right here with. So I know there's supposed to be two subjects on the minds of, of Americans on October 1st, 2013. And I know I need to be ranting on them because they're so important to uh, what's going on on this planet. And everybody is talking about it. Oh, maybe I didn't have enough coffee. Oh, okay, guys. I, get, I, I, I do now remember one of them. It, it's uh, <clears throat> Obamacare. Obamacare. Uh, there you go. There's a subject on the minds of uh, at least everyone that I've been uh, hanging out with for the past week. Uh, guys, this is, this is the probably, the, hopefully, this will be the first and last time I ever mention the whole subject of Obamacare. I don't give a damn about Obamacare. I, 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 I could give a shit about Obamacare. It, it has no effect on my life whatsoever, uh, and it sure as hell has zero effect on what is going on on this planet. Maybe Jimma will bring one of his gas-sucking uh, trucks down here and I can interview him on how much he cares about Obamacare. Now the reason, guys, I don't give a shit about Obamacare is basically the same reason I don't give a shit about the Internal Revenue Service, and that's that it doesn't apply to me. That since I pulled my head out of my ass five years ago and uh, voluntarily took my income from $100,000 a year to about $8,000 a year. Since my income is less than $14,000 a year, it completely has nothing to do with me on any level. So if you want to get Obamacare out of your life, simply start making less than $14,000 a year. And it will not apply to you. You are a non-person. And uh, as I mentioned in other rants, the, the same can be said about uh, the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, that uh, I have been put on, I owe the IRS, according to them, $8,000. I'm not arguing that, uh, but I have been put on the glorious list of non-collectibles, non-enforceable, non-collect, whatever. I am a non-person in the eyes of the Internal Revenue Service and in terms of Obamacare. Now guys, you better believe if, uh, if I had not, if I had not been uh, voluntarily reduced my income and still was making more than $14,000 a year, I would have a hell of a lot more to say about Obamacare. Uh, I, I wouldn't go quite to the lengths of the Alex Jones and those Kool-Aid drinkers, but I, I, would, I would be goddamn pissed off right now uh, trying to tell me that uh, I had to uh, sign up uh, for the, the, this bullshit. Uh, you know, that, that, is, that is a dictator 
that is not a on any level a a, a democracy or a republic for the, the president of the United States to tell me I had to uh, sign up for some bullshit uh, health care system or if I didn't I, I would suffer the consequences through no less than the IRS this would be my message to Barack Obama since I can't use the F word I will let my uh, th this is my message to Barack Obama anyway but it would certainly be my message to that dictator if he was trying to tell me I uh, I needed to, uh, I, I, I needed against my will to, to buy some health insurance. Uh, and my health insurance is my business, dude. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't apply to me, so I'm done with it. But the IRS uh, did jog my memory, of course, about the other item that I guess is on the minds of a few people. Although nobody, as I say, that I have met, I have never heard the words government shutdown leave anyone's lips in my own personal world here in Austin, Texas, here in politically uh, progressive Austin, Texas. Never heard the words government shutdown leave the lips of anybody I know. But as I mentioned yesterday in my rant, uh, one of the one of the casualties, the casualties of the government shutdown uh, where IRS auditors have been told to go home, don't show up for work today. There you go. Breaks my heart in uh, this little, uh, and this little item came across uh, Right up there, here is somebody else uh, facing big layoffs in government shutdown. From Reuters News right here today, uh, U.S. spy agencies face big layoffs in government shutdown. <clears throat> More than 70% of civilians working for U.S. spy agencies have been deemed non-essential employees and face temporary layoffs due to the government shutdown. That began, I guess, at midnight. Uh, the agencies affected are the CIA, the Office of Director of National Intelligence, and 15 others, the CIA alone, expecting to furlough 12,000, 12,500 civilian spies. Darn. You know, what else have we got? I guess we have the national parks shutting down. So uh, all of the uh, animals in the national parks can uh, enjoy a respite from being run over and otherwise harassed by all of these head up their ass clueless tourists. Uh, so there you go. So all the animals in the national parks are celebrating the U.S. government shutdown. Anyway guys, bring on the U.S. government shutdown. Bring it on. Uh, so far, I like what I see. And uh, ring on the government shutdown, and I don't give a shit what you do with Obamacare. Jesus, I got other things on my mind, which I'll come back at you in my next rant uh, called Where's Waldo in the Mainstream Media? Be back at you in one minute for that one. For this one, bye guys.